So this episode honestly felt like the introduction of kind of our first uh, real uh, obstacle that our main characters have to overcome pretty much. And I want to, you know, I want to kind of talk a little bit about episode 1 because I forgot that. If you guys saw my health video, especially towards the end, you'd know that I said that, um, you know, every time we get a new anime season, it's always, uh, it always troubles me, like, when the first episode aired, because I don't exactly know when it w will air with what other shows it will air, and, you know, at the time it will air, so that's why I didn't really, um, Put the video out for episode one, but um, but um, yeah. N n now since I know kind of the schedule of it, my hope is I continue to review it. But on episode one, so episode one, it made me felt like this whole show was just um, you know, kind of the dark side of kind of the Harry Potter. Like we have the school of magicians. Our main characters, um, you know, they're against their, you know, to school. Um, there's questions about, you know, who we saw that samurai girl with a bunch of cuts and stuff. And obviously, he says, Oliver says, you know, that she, like, how many people she's killed because she says she was in a war. She got the scars in the war. And, um, also, you know, more questions about who Oliver really is because we don't know, even in episode 2, we don't really know, but we know his brother was someone important because we see in episode 1 and 2 that, um, I guess his brother sent, you know, kind of a bodyguard towards, um, Oliver because, you know, to go with him to school and... I don't know, that whole dynamic, it just seems like his brother must be someone really high up. Like, um, like I'd say, a secret spy. Because, since no one, if he's really using his last name, someone should recognize his last name. That, oh, this is Oliver, uh, the, bro the younger brother of... Uh, this really important guy so I feel like he's like a secret spy or something because um you know, just for I would expect if he was kind of big like his last name would pop up pop out and everyone re would recognize it but no one really does so there's questions about his kind of backstory and I feel and you can kind of see in episode one that there's this faction or this there's really it looks like to me there's this underground or in the school kind of group and the reason i say this is because the first day they were there there was a parade and we see a girl with a hoodie um she you know cast a spell onto katie one of our main characters that makes her run and the troll makes her runs up to the troll and as an outcome the troll tries to attack and you know the troll dies I guess and the reason I say there has to be some kind of group is because we also see in episode 2 um, towards the end of the episode when Oliver, Pete and the blonde hair girl kind of go off because Pete, you know, forgot his his book. They went to go get it back, and we see these upperclassmen, this fourth year and fifth year, kind of cornered them, like um, like uh, bullies, pretty much, like cornered them, bullies, and we'll have to wait until episode three to see what really happens because, for all I know, because um, right after Oliver left to to retrieve the book he had to talk with his uh, bodyguard saying you know oh say hello to my brother and with all that I feel like maybe the bodyguard because the bodyguard did say she'll go to this 
a classroom, I guess to monitor something. She said she would pretty much go to this classroom, so I wonder if somehow at last minute, like, the bodyguard will appear um, last second to save Oliver and Pete and the bondhicker from these older classmen that are bullies. And so I wonder how that whole dynamic will work, but in the beginning, I also want to mention in the beginning, there was this scene where, um, you know, the, the teacher said, oh, we're just gonna, an example, so I want two, two new students to kind of duel, like sparring, sparring match with swords, and to this, um, the new girl, not no, I think that's her name, Oliver, they, um, they volunteer, then they fight, then Oliver realizes that, you know, when Nano was talking about she was in a war in the first episode, and she showed that she had all these scars in her back, um, that's when he realized that she probably, you know, killed a lot of people with that sword, and not just, you know, dozen, probably more than 12, and, you know, to this, I guess, Oliver got mad that, about that and not know just simply doesn't understand why he's very mad and that's how kind of he set the mood between him and Nano for the rest of the episode like kind of the silent treatment like awkward talking like they're not talking now but the the one thing I do wanna kind of talk about before I end this video is in episode one when Oliver saw um, Nano in the bath, in the bath, whatever, taking a bath, she had all these scars, or she was just taking a bath, and Oliver saw her, it kind of reminded, like, we see this flashback that, he, it looks like he found the exact same, p uh, girl, n not the same girl, but a girl with blonde hair, and, um, it looks like they, they were in, not the jungle, like she was bathing in a river, and I do wonder what that is all about, like, could it possibly be that Oliver was also in the war, but he doesn't know that Nano was his, or he, maybe Oliver does, he came up he he knew that Nano probably fought in the same war with him and that's how he knows like oh she killed a lot of people or something but and we um maybe Oliver was in the same war that's why he knows all this why oh, not the sense of death or I can tell that she killed you know dozens of people in that war and yeah and I just you know, just really question like, what was all? What is Oliver's background? Because even in episode two, we still don't like. No one knows who Oliver truly is. We only can guess because he has this. It seems like his brother, his older brother, kind of sent this bodyguard for him to go to school because I guess it sounds like his brother didn't or doesn't think that him going to school alone is safe so he probably thought you know let me just send one of my best men to kind of be a bodyguard to watch over you and you know I just wonder like what kind of brother is that because for someone to pull those strings you have to be really powerful like to have someone for you to be able to give an order to someone about just keep an eye on my brother while he goes to this new high school like imagine that like his brother must have a lot of power like or he must be in a really high position and everything and yeah I uh, just kind of want to mention that um, like I said uh, last few minutes of the episode they kind of get cornered by these bullies by these upperclassmen and you know as they're about to fight that's when of course the episode ends but I wonder are they actually gonna fight or is the bodyguard somehow gonna make it like 
like in the last seconds and kind of protect Oliver too. Because for someone to be a bodyguard, especially someone to be a bodyguard assigned to someone as important as I'm guessing the young brother of your boss, I'm guessing that the older brother must have a lot of respect and acknowledge your fighting abilities and you know I just wonder like <clears throat> like well, what kind of abilities will the bodyguard have also and one thing that I'm kind of noticing now that I'm talking about is that in the first episode we saw the girl in the parade um, the one who kind of cast the spell um, on Katie um, we kind of saw her, um, she was a female, obviously, she had, she had, she had, like, purple, pinkish hair, red, I guess, and she wore a hoodie. Now, this is a theory, so just take it with a grain of salt, but I feel like it's possible that, um, that the girl who casted the spell on Katie is the same girl or the same character that was also signed to be Oliver's bodyguard now if I'm right for some reason the case that is the case I wonder I then wonder you know why like I feel like for her to do something like that for bodyguard to do that I feel like she had to get some kind of order from the boss his older brother to do that so I wonder if if she was controlled or if she was told to do this to Katie I wonder what the goal was if that actually worked like if that actually worked like what did he expect or what did he hope would happen with Oliver but um yeah, it's just, just a theory overall. I really like this episode, the last two episodes, and I am happy to say that you know, I will try to continue to, I guess, review this and make sure whatever. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.